Hi, I'm Chloe, Marketing Specialist for Google's Integrated Development Environment. I'd like to take a few moments to show KYD, an Eclipse and GCC by study for ARM Quartz M design. KYD is purely free to use for both non-commercial and commercial applications with medical size limits. Although the IDE itself is not open source, the code components available in KYD are all free and open to use. Code components, sometimes simply called components, in Kukok's community refer to reusable code snippets which are vitally independent from each other, including book code, peripheral libraries, drivers, operating system, middle layer software, examples, etc. When you launch KYD, you see this welcome page that displays. In the welcome page, you have quick access to the code components repository. You have access to create a new project, as well as open an existing KYD project. We also have link to KYD user guide, as well as Google forum for communication and free technical support. I'm going to create a project based on the SDM32 F430 discovery board. Select create a new project from the welcome page. You'll see a with window pop up. Enter a project name, for example, F430 underline blank. The default project path is on the works folder. If you want to change it, you can uncheck the use default path option and select your own project path. Click next button to select the model. You can create a new project either based on the target chip or based on the target board. I'm going to select the board and click next. Type F30 in a search text box and select the discovery board as the target board. You can see from the window the overview of the board. Click finish button and KYD will automatically generate the F30 underlying blank project with a main.c file. The repository view shows basic information of the board, including the patches linkage and documents in the board page. Click the document button and the help view will show the document of the board. It also lists all driver components and examples available for the target board. You can view all target boards KYD supports from the board list page. The peripherals page lists all peripheral components available for the target chip. And the drivers page lists all driver components available in Google's component database. Each page has refresh and upload buttons on the top right corner to help you get latest components and share with others. Click a component in the repository view and the help view will show documents of the component. You can add source code of a component to your project just by checking the checkbox in the front. I'm going to use the IO toggle example. KYD will automatically check the components which the example depends on and add the source code to the project automatically at the same time. You can stay your cursor on the function to see its declaration. If it's the first time you use KYD, you need to download and install a GCC toolchain and configure the GCC path via the select toolchain path under the project menu. Click the browse button, find the GCC installation directory. Select the folder that contains the GCC executive files and click OK to save the setting. Click Configuration button to open the configuration view. You can do many things in this view, like change target device, configure optimization options, use your own linker scripts, specify output file format, Use before or after build functions. Specify your own programming algorithm, etc. KYD supports a number of debug adapters, including ST-Link. Please make sure that you have installed the driver of ST-Link version 2.
The default options are the most appropriate ones for ST-Link. After configuration, you can compare your project by clicking the build button and view compare information in the console window. Make sure that the hardware connection is cracked and click download button to download the project to the STM32F030 discovery board. Now you can see the LD3 and LD4 LED blinking on your board. Click the debug button to start debugging. From the view menu, you can open registers view, peripherals view, disassembly view, variables view, memory view, etc. The yellow arrow indicates the location where current debug session persists. You can click the step into, step over, and step out buttons for stepping. Click the instruction stepping mode button to enter the assembly instruction stepping mode and click again to exist the mode and get back to the secret window. You can view the change of peripheral register values conveniently from the peripherals view, the change of core register values from the registers view, and the change of variable values from the variables view. Click the run to line button to execute the line where the cursor stays. You can double click to set breakpoints and skip all breakpoints via the breakpoints window. Click the run button to resume execution. Click the suspend button to halt current execution. Click the reset CPU button to reset the debugging. and click Terminate button to end the debug session.